In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your Spotify canvas in an online graphic design and editing tool called Canva. The first thing you should know is that this is going to be more focused on showing you the functionalities of the platform than on uh, making the video itself all fancy and too crazy because I just want to make you guys familiar with the platform so you can go ahead and get creative and learn more by yourself. So let's get into it. Basically, the first thing you need to do is come to canva.com. You can type that into your browser and search and you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Now, I don't want to take you through all these different um, options to pick from or things to explore. So what we are going to do instead is go directly for what we are looking to create. We are looking to create a Spotify canvas and a Spotify canvas, as mentioned before, is in a 1080 by 1920 dimension. That is the aspect ratio of the video that we want to create. What other thing do we know that's like that? It's the Instagram Reels, it's the YouTube Shorts. So you come to Canvas search bar and then you type in Instagram Instagram Reels, right? You'll see that uh, different options will appear here. You can click Instagram Reel here. Another option you can try is YouTube Shorts, okay? And then you can get the same aspect ratio, 1080 to 1920. So let's just do Instagram Reels. Okay, so we click on that. Once you click on that, it will bring you to a page that shows you different templates that you can be inspired by, right? So as you can see here, we have a template uh, that's to do with food Instagram. This is a modern makeup video. And um, you can see that some of them have this mark, right? Which says paid. This is one that you will have to pay some cash to use then others are only accessed when you use the premium or the pro um, the pro subscription on Canva, like this. You'll see this king mark here saying pro. You'll see that also here. But other than that, the ones that do not have any mark like the dollar sign or the crown are free to use. So you can get any of them here that you can see that you're inspired by. If you fail to find a template here, that inspires you that you want to use, you can decide to create one from scratch. So you come here and create blank. That's what I'm going to do because right now I don't feel like going through each of the options, searching for something, uh, but then you can select one and then you'll be able to customize it. So here I've, I'm, I've selected to, I've decided to create one from scratch. So this, the song that I'm going to be creating a Spotify canvas for is, um, a hype song. It's one that I imagine someone would be playing in the gym because it's called No Burnout, right? And you can check it out down in the description. I'm going to link uh, my Spotify to it. I'm going to link uh, my YouTube. So just go down there and check out the song and maybe gain context for why I'm designing it or I'm designing it. But since it's a, it's a hype song, uh, it's, it's basically one that I imagine people playing in the gym. I'm going to go for more uh, clips. I'm going to use clips that are to do with the gym, that are to do with fitness, that are to do with athleticism, right? So here on the left-hand side of the screen, you see different options. So the first here is design, right? With design, you get different templates and then you get styles as well, right? So you can uh, experiment with different uh, templates like this or different palettes, right? Color palettes, as you can see here. Uh, when you come down, you find elements, now among elements here you find uh, shapes you find graphics as you can see stickers you find photos videos so these are the different elements that you use to design your spotify canvas then the next feature here is the text so you find different um, ways to uh, type out your text you will also have uh, different designs such as this right these are pre-designed options that you can just click on and use in your Spotify canvas. And you still have some that are free, some that are paid for, and then some that are only accessible to premium subscribers. Um, the next thing here is the brand hub. I don't really use uh, brand templates much uh, when I use Canva, so I'm going to skip that. Then you can come to uploads. If you have your own clips that you want to add to your Spotify canvas, this is where you would bring them clips or images. So 
uh, with videos, you come and you input your clips here, you drag them, you open a file, you drag them into this and they will upload to the platform. And then you will have access to them as long as you've uh, opened an account on the canva.com platform. So the main things that we are going to focus on here are these top three designs are these top three features rather design elements and text plus uploads that is if you have your own videos but here i'm trying to show you how to do it if you do not have those videos for yourself if you do upload them and then let's get to work so let's go to the elements first what did i say i was looking for i'm looking for uh, clips to do with fitness right clips to do with the gym clips to do with athleticism so let's type in gym Right, that could be our starting point okay so we're looking for videos so up here you can see the different options through which you can filter uh, your results so here we'll click videos right and then um, what you can do once you click videos you can come here and also uh, further narrow down your search results to here we are looking for things that are vertical right because we are going for the aspect ratio that is 1080 by 1920 so we go with the vertical so it will come out like a, a standing rectangle basically so we click uh, vertical and you can see the results here that have have come through now are all in that kind of aspect ratio so let's get it uh, which clip do you want to start out with okay i like this clip Let's make each clip like two seconds. Okay, just so so that we have enough variety for the audience to be engaged. So that is 2.9 seconds. Let's push it to maybe 2.5, right? So boom. Yeah, like that. And then let's find okay this. Okay, I've made the same mistake. Remember to open uh add a page rather. And then you add that, okay? So we make this also 2.5 seconds. Boom, okay. So let's go from the top, boom, okay. Now let's fit this to the, the canvas like this, boom. Maybe if we want to zoom in a bit, it may seem too far off. Let's do that. And then, boom, boom. Okay. So look at that. Now we can go ahead and reduce this maybe to 1.5 seconds and then also drop this to 1.5 seconds. So these things are just for test and error, try and error because you're creating and, and that process is filled with mistakes or you change your ideas all the time. Okay, so let's do that. Boom, boom. Okay, let's find another clip. This is 1.5, 1.5, that's a total of three. We're trying to get it to eight seconds. Okay, so I want like an active clip, someone doing like lunges or, you know, push-ups. Okay, this, this girl seems to do, be doing push-ups. I'm stretching. Okay, now look at the variety of the videos here. There are so many, right? So this is in the gym. Let's try something else. Maybe um, uh, running, maybe treadmill. Let's do treadmill, All right? Because it's a song about, you know, working out. Here, unfortunately, most of these clips are only available to the premium subscribers. Uh, there's one here, but it's, it's kind of like a meme video, like a comedy type of video. I'm not feeling it. Uh, let's see fitness. They provide you with a few options there you can take a look at. Um, let's see, someone's doing push-ups. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Again, I made the same mistake. Remember to open a page and then that's where you put the next clip. That's why you paste it. So let's move this down to 1.5. 1.5 seconds like that then we start off boom boom okay let's feed this to the canvas like that like that okay boom boom okay 
I don't like because I was hoping to get her doing her push ups. Okay, so let's get her right when she's about to start right there. And then we'll move this to 1.5. Boom. 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 Okay. It's looking good. It's starting to shape up nicely. Okay. And then right now we have 4.5 seconds. Let's find something else. See my guy here, it's just looking, looking dangerous. It looks like he's about to do some crazy shit. Okay. Let's, let's open a page and then put him. Let's see, no burnout. I feel like he's, he's the poster child for that right now. Just based off of, <laughs> just based off of the clip. Looks like he's getting ready to run or he's stretching as well. He's done with the workout. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, okay. We need to fit this to the canvas. I know this is a pretty long process, but uh, you do what you need to do to make it happen. No? So this is very affordable. This is a free platform, so boom. Okay, I feel like probably the best would be him uh, like looking up, starting to look up, All right? Like that, so. Just when he's about to reach up and we drop this to 1.5 like that. Let's see. Okay. Start from here. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. Let's drop this like that. Like that. Okay. So you can adjust to make sure it comes out the way you want it. Okay. Adjust that again. Okay. Now this is 4.56. So we are at six right now and we have two seconds left. So the last clip must look pretty intense. I feel let's, let's check out weightlifting another category. So let's see. Another option is if you don't find um, the video you're looking for here, you can go to Pexels, which is a platform we talked about in a video, um, in, in a past video talking about Spotify Canvas, a lazy way for you to create a Spotify Canvas. And we'll link that video below, but it's a, it's a, it's a website whereby you can get some free stock footage and images. So that could give you options, right, to use in terms of video. Let's, let's try this. Okay, so the first thing, let's fill it. Let's make sure it fills the canvas. Boom. Okay, boom. All right. So we drop this to two seconds. Okay, because that's what we have left. So those are eight seconds now in total. Boom. No burnout. Okay. Now, these are the videos that I've selected that I'm going to go with. The next thing I would like to show you is, say you want to add text, right? Maybe you want to add no burnout, like the whole way for it to be through all the clips. So what you do here is come to the text option and maybe you want it to be a glowing, uh, a glowing text, right? So click glow. And then in my case, I would do NBO, right? Because the song is shortened. It's that the title of the song is shortened to NBO instead of no burnout, right? So this color, I want to change it to green. Let's see what that looks like. Cause you know, green is, it's like one of those colors that radiates, that radiates like healthy energy, right? So let's do that. You come onto the next clip, you do the same thing. You put glow, change it to NBO. And then you change this to green as well. Okay, so you change this to color green. So what you can do 
now that you have that, you have text in it, you can now add some effects, right? Or animations. Unfortunately, this, um, the camera, I cannot move it due to the software that I'm using, but this sign here is animation. So click on it and then you can see the different ways you can animate it. Okay, boom. These are different ways that you can animate. Okay, I like this. So the one I chose was block. It has animated this first clip, NBO, NBO. Now I'm going to do that across, right? Remember this is a creative process, so you will have to try different stuff to make sure you find something that you're comfortable using, something that you like. So I'm going to do this. Just want to show you guys the available options. It's nothing too crazy. I feel like it can definitely do something for you creatives out there that are interested in doing things yourself. So boom, look at that. Look at that, right? We've done this in Canva, right? So transitions, making it look a bit more interesting. Now, another thing we can do is add sound effects. However, we won't be able to do that in Canva. You're able to add sound effects to these places like where you see the block or the text doing the whole, you know, coming in and going out. You can add uh, sound effects to make that more cinematic. So that is now with the text. Another thing you can do here that I want to show you is you can add transitions to the clips themselves. So let's take a, let's check out some transitions here. Okay, let's try stacking. Okay, let's try stacking. Let's try stacking. Let's try stacking. So I'm doing this to all the clips so that the transitions are uniform all through. Right. So now let's play it. Okay, I didn't like how the word is moving across like this, the effect of wiping away the word and then it coming through like that. So what I'm going to do instead is remove these transitions. I feel like, I feel like these transitions won't do, won't do the trick for me. Okay, so let's change the transition, just remove it. Change the transition, remove it. I'm just going to remove all the transitions because I'm not liking how they are looking with the text, right? So the text, I just like how the text does this thing across, okay? Personally, I think it's fire. I think, I think I have it done. This is eight seconds, something I can now go into my Spotify for Artists and attach to my No Burnout song. So for now, I feel like that is enough. I've shown you how to use text. I've shown you how to use the elements feature. With the elements, you can search for pictures, graphics, um, animations, videos, and get to create your Spotify canvas from scratch. Let me know down in the comment sections if I missed anything. Or one last thing, in order to download this, you'll need to come to share. Once you click on that, you come to the download option here. You click download and then you select, right? So we are going to be downloading all of them, right? So the file type here, unfortunately, you won't be able to see, but the file type here we're going to choose is MP4 video, which is uh, the appropriate one since we are going to be uploading it as a Spotify canvas, which is a video. And then we download. Uh, our download has already arrived. So let's take a look at this. It's not going to have an audio playing, but look, boom. Boom, boom. And then it will loop all the way back to the start. Boom, boom. Now just add some, some sound effects for that, the swiping of the words, right? Just to make it a little more interesting. And then in the background, just imagine my song playing, no burnout. If you haven't listened to it, go ahead and check it out in the description. That is basically the whole video. And I hope that you've learned from it as well. See you in the next one.